see this, you can always browse. When you press browse, you know, you can go through all the genres that you got. Play music that way. All the artists. You know what I'm saying? Um, the albums. I mean, Serato is just badass. Prepare, I guess you can just take tracks, put them there for like when you're going to do a gig. Your history obviously is going to do everything that you've been doing for whatever time you've been playing around with it. Um, one thing, if y'all don't know, is that if you don't, um, from time to time, um, go and uh, connect to uh, Serato, it might try to do something with your licensing. So you're going to want to make it happen to at least once a week connect online to Serato to let them know at least, hey, you're alive, you're using it, even if you purchase the uh, Serato, I think. Because even though my uh, licensing is what it is, it's full, I mean, it's legit, I'm able to use Serato and, and uh, get all that good stuff in there. So I hope uh, this has helped y'all out. Um, hold on before I end up doing uh, Serato again, because I'm going to end up doing a mitts for me. Unfortunately for me, I don't have another laptop to record my sessions or even OBS uh, broadcasting because even though this is a gaming laptop, uh, my good friend uh, back home in Dallas, Texas informed me, unfortunately for me, that, um, oh yeah, and whenever you shut this off, you're going to want to go in here and, and do your uh, ejecting right here saying looking for a computer because I already shut shut off uh, Serato, right? So you'll always want to eject whatever it is that you have connected. Since I got this connected, and you gotta make sure that it's safe, safe, safe to remove hardware. I learned that the hard way, people, and, and do not make this mistake. Uh, because if uh, you don't do it, you can corrupt your files and you'll never get them back. Once that's ejected over here, then you're safe to press this right here. If you read that, it's, it's asking you, you know, or rather telling you, informing you that if you safely ejected all the drives, y'all just saw that I did it and there's no drives because if there were, it would come up here. Um, there ain't nothing. I don't have anything, so, you know, it's all good. I can eject whatever. So anyways, so we go press, yes. And another thing, I love the touch screen, uh, Dan and y'all really got down on uh, doing what y'all did with this. You can adjust it to whatever height you want to. So after, you see you don't have Serato here no more, it's gonna always remind you that there's another firmware and you would end up having to go through these steps, which I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I'm gonna say remind me later. And this is blank right now. This is the engine prime, you know, deal on its own. In a little bit, it's gonna ask me if I wanna load, you know, from my, uh, my SATA drive. But we're gonna skip that right now. So, I'm gonna go to uh, press the view button, which is basically the menu. And you have to press that for two seconds. Now, I'm not sure if it's the utility, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. When you go to utilities, when you first get this, and this is for the people that first got it, you know, right there, it's informing me that I have an update available. I saw one cat earlier, he had an uh, older version, a 1.2 point whatever, and something happened to where he wasn't getting any kind of playback or any kind of reaction even though he had the uh, waves for both songs on the screen and he was pressing the button and nothing would happen but again this is the version that you're going to want to have installed in your prime to use serato um if you do by chance and the only reason this is telling me that is because i already have it i already have the latest version installed and it's probably recognizing that i have it and I have it installed here on my laptop. And the 1.4.1 uh, version allows for Prime to be able to connect via Wi-Fi 
and connect to Tidal uh, streaming services, SoundCloud streaming, uh, streaming services. And I think it's going to have something later on to do with uh, BeatSource, if I ain't mistaken. And streaming is all good. You know, I'm not hating on streaming. But, I'm again, being a DJ, as long as I have, I'm used to the uh, long intros of songs. And I hate that, you know, a bunch of shit right now is the way it is and you have to do the cutting instead of just the mixing. Because that's what we called it back then, when you just throw in one song and throw in the other and cut off the nets. And to me, it's kind of sloppy, but if that's what people are used to, then that's what they're used to. And I'm not going to hate on their purposes. It is what it is. But anyways, you will go to the uh, utilities. Um, I got my decks three and four on. You don't necessarily have to have those on. You can adjust the brightness of the screen. High, mid, low, and it lowers it. Um, I like to leave it at max. I'm 47 years old, so my eyes aren't the way they used to when I was a young, ba uh, young cat. All these uh, deals you can adjust. <clears throat> I left mine the way it is, so it's basically in default. The only thing that I've changed is um, the Q solo mode. Oh shit, I haven't messed around with this. Q solo mode, the only thing that does is that instead of these uh, being the way it is with colors, it's gonna be like this. And um, you see, if I change the, the, the fader, it's white, right? I'm gonna change it to where this will be playing the music now, and this is what it's showing. It's just a, a smooth little trick, you know, it's white right here, bam, it's red. The platter uh, colors you can change. If you touch it, it's gonna change. The sensitivity, we're gonna get to the nudge sensitivity in a, in a bit. But always before you uh, do the updates, you wanna verify and make sure that you have the latest version of Engine Prime installed in your laptop. And whatever the version is that you're going to use, like in this case for Serato compatibility, I have to have this version right there. If not, Serato will never link up with your Prime 4. Now that we've gone through this, um, here's the nudge sensitivity. I like to have mine's high. Um, these are all basic settings because uh, when I switched over to the um, Serato deal, I hadn't changed anything. And right now that I'm looking at it, right now that I'm doing this video, I might as well go ahead and change whatever I want to change or, you know, after I get done with y'all, I'll, I'll, I'll put them back. Preferences was on the main menu, but you can access it from here. You know, it doesn't matter which one of the two, you can access both. Um, the cue position, track start. I like to have mine start at my cue positions because sometimes some tracks have too much crap going on like some old school rock music and if you're just mixing and you're in that vibe and you already have your cues set up um, this will automatically detect whatever cues you have on your uh, Serato and um, that's not a bad thing at all man I mean uh, Serato and even Denon it's, itself I mean this this like I said this bad boy is a beast by itself I'm gonna do mixes with both you know the Prime and Serato um, so then, you know, you can control the uh, speed ranges and stuff on um, preferences. Um, sync mode, um, how you want to do uh, your Q, uh, Q loops, uh, quanti quantization. Uh, some of these I think you're going to end up having to do lower because of some of the music, you know, like disco and stuff like that. I think. Uh, my default loop size. It always start at four. Normally, I keep it at an eight, or sometimes you know I have to do a sixteen. I love having my smart loops on. Uh, move Q to loop in. Uh, sometimes you know that's that's good. I'm gonna leave it on for this time. The track information. Uh, you know you can always leave it. You know however you want to do it. Metadata or file name, time format, uh, track and warning. Um, standard 30 seconds for me uh, what I just explained with the uh, movement of these uh, platters this is how you turn it on or off if I turn it off you see how it's blue this is red look at my fader even if I moved it to the blue side it's still red blue if I move it to the left side 
steel blue. As soon as I tap on the uh, on air uh, mode, because I have this to the red side, now my platter is white. So y'all don't get alarmed when, you know, by accident y'all touch something and y'all think y'all fucked it up. Maybe y'all didn't. It was just, you know, something here that you turned on or off. Technology's got its pros and cons. So, padlock, that's just, you know, uh, the deal that it's going to do or you're not going to be able to use these pads. You know, if you accidentally fuck something up or you, you don't like using pads, whatever. I, I actually kind of came accustomed to them, especially if you got, you know, the pitching time and all that shit because, you know, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. Me personally, I haven't tried it out, but I am going to. And then, obviously, everything else. And then this is how you change your uh, deck colors. Just come up here, you know, yellow, whatever. Uh, if you don't like that, you know, uh, violet, I mean, shit, you know. It's all kinds of uh, colors you can use. So, whenever you want to go back, you know, you go back. You want to go forward, you go forward. Now, press 2, source. Uh, Okay, we don't want to go back to source. I'm going to go to uh, utility again, preferences. Um, for some reason, it's not picking up my SATA drive again. Oh, I hate it. Like I said technology has its quirks. So in this case, if something like this were to happen, don't be alarmed. Just turn it off, say yes. Basically, it's just gonna shut off. You do another reboot. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like, something out of a Star Trek Klingon ship. Tells you I got the 1.3.3 Denim DJ Prime 4 screen. And how you know that you're doing the uploading for the version firmware, it'll have this screen and it'll have something on the bottom, you know, telling you that you're connected to the, uh, to the uh, player. Here saying load user profile to player. It's asking me if I want to load my internal hard drive. I say yes. Once I do that, um, I'm going to tell that to remind me later. There's a way that you can do the uh, logo. If you go to my YouTube channel, it'll show you. If you go to my Facebook channel, uh, it'll show you. But both of these got my uh, my uh, YouTube uh, uh, channels got, got all of these uh, information to let you know how to put your uh, logos, which is the same little uh, rink dink uh, logo that I, I got in here. <laughs> um, it's just something I put together. Um, but now it's grown on me, so. <sighs> this is DJ in the Groove, um, coming to you live from my little bitty makeshift studio in my other house in Mexico. And I hope that this long ass video has helped some people out. Um, leave comments, um, ask questions, um, you know, if y'all want to criticize, criticize, I mean, if that's y'all's deal, whatever, you, you know, um, what do they say, you ain't, you ain't really doing none of you, ain't, you ain't, uh, you ain't got no haters, right, <laughs> so, um, it's all good, peace out, y'all stay safe, let's, uh, beat this coronavirus together, stay inside, don't risk yourself, don't risk others, do not kill others by being ignorant. And um, trust me, I was in a solitary, which is lockdown, for three months without no windows, sloppy ass food, bullshit ass shower, nobody in there with me. And uh, y'all are at least stuck at home with some loved ones. And I'm pretty sure you got a decent shower and some decent food. So do not bitch and complain. You know, be uh, be thankful and grateful for what you got. Take care of yourselves and peace out. God bless.